Shalom, shalom. It is Melanin Wisdom giving all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. So the name of this video is How to Grow Long Hair, Reversing the Curses. So we know that the Most High cursed the daughters of Zion with baldness, with scabs at the crown of their head, and basically we were stripped of our long, beautiful hair. Um for breaking the commandments of the Lord, for not hearkening unto his law, statutes, and commandments, and going off a horn and doing whatever it is that we felt like we wanted to do while following the other nations or, yeah, the heathens in the other nations and worshiping their gods and their idols. So the Most High, he got very angry with the children of Israel, but I'm specifically speaking about the daughters of Zion today. He was angry with us and we was cursed. And when we was cursed, uh, our long hair was stripped away from us. So through the scriptures, I just want to show you um, how you can get back and reverse the curse of baldness and get back your glory and get your long hair back. Only through the power of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit leading guide me to show y'all this through the scriptures. So we first, we're going to get into the curses. I've been thinking long and hard on this video. I've been working um, on this video for a while, actually. Um, Satan been trying to stop me from bringing it out, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it out. Um, I'm personally going to open up and show you my life. Um, parts of my life uh, when I was under the curse and my hair and just the things that I was doing. Just from being in the darkness and not knowing who I am and yeah just curse being in darkness i'm gonna show you a clip of that video and then we'll go over the blessings how you can reverse the curse and get back into the blessings of the lord and get your long glory back and i also have a short clip of you know now me keeping the commandments and how my hair has flourished and grew back so the first scripture i'm gonna start off with it's going to be um, Proverbs 13 and 13. So, ladies, as you know, as I always say, never take my word or any of anybody else's word, but only take the word of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Open up your Bibles and read this stuff for yourself. This is the reason why we still curse today, because Israel has a really hard problem with just taking a word of anybody and not even proving people to prove whatever the words they are speaking out their mouth are true. But you know that it's true if you open up your sword and you read it for yourself. So get your Bibles. We're going to Proverbs 13 and 13. Alright. We're gonna hit them curses and then we're gonna hit the blessings. Proverbs 13 and 13 reads, Whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. That's plain, that's simple. Whosoever despise the word, which is the word of God, that's in this book, shall be destroyed. Look around, sis, like humbly speaking because i was in this state before i was destroyed and i didn't know that i was destroyed i was cursed and i did not know that i was cursed you couldn't tell me i was cursed like i'm blessed and highly favored you know no i was destroyed and i was cursed and i did not know it so we through the holy spirit can bring these curses out where you can see and it can open up your eyes if, if you are cursed and if you're not cursed and, you know, it, this applies to those who need help, you know, but whosoever despiseth the word shall be cursed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Fearing the commandment is fearing the Lord. How do you fear the Lord? How do you show that you fear the Lord? Well, you hearken unto his voice. You hearken unto his statutes, his laws, his commandments. And the daughters of Zion went off. 
when we start to not hearken anymore, when we started not to fear the Lord, when we started chasing after idols, when we started to do our own thing, going to horn with these other nations, taking on their customs and their ways, in a major idol and custom that the daughters of Zion took on from other nations will be these weaves. Yes, weave, sis. We, I'm hitting it again because it's, it's very important to know that like, you do not need someone else's hair on the top of your hair, on the top of what the Most High has blessed you with. That beautiful wool. That's your hair. Rock your hair and do away with that idol. Weave is an idol. Weave is definitely an idol. I almost want to say I challenge whoever's watching this video to go through the scriptures if you don't believe that weave is an idol idol and find the scripture that supports your thoughts that weave is not an idol and please share it please share it and edify us so that we can learn but i'm telling you weave is an idol it is not our custom it's not our ways we took that from the heathen so moving forward y'all got that part if we keep the commandments we're going to be rewarded that's plain and simple so the next script is going to be leviticus um 26 13 through 18 now bear with me because i wanted to find something in the bible that specifically addressed why the most high cursed us and so i felt like this was you know this was feasible and that it was a really good script to bring out to show to show us to show us our sins and why the most high cursed us so Leviticus 26 and 13 through 18, and it reads, I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen, and I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. So that's the most I'm telling us right there. If you don't want to hearken, you don't want to keep these commandments, he's going to do the same thing to us. And that's, that's we're going to get to it. And say, so I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning of goo. A goo is basically it's a, it's a like um, a fever, sickness. That is what it is. That shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. So the seeds that we sow while we're operating in darkness, while we're still living in darkness, is a vain seed. Our enemy is going to come right behind and eat it up. It's not going to produce. It's not going to do anything. And I will set my face against you and ye shall be slain before your enemies. And that's going on now. That's going on now. Just look around. They that hate you shall reign over you. Who reigning over us right now, sis? Look around. Who's reigning over us right now? These heathens, specifically Esau, but the other the other heathens are reigning over us as well. Because guess what? Whenever we wake up and we need milk, we need cereal, we need food to eat, we need clothes to wear, we need gas. Guess who we got to go to to get it? The Most High cursed us and said we will go to our enemies in need of all things that's a curse so you being bald and being cursed and smiting with baldness and scabs in your head guess who you gotta go to now to get some hair on your head to your enemy to your enemy until you confess your sins and you repent and you return back unto the most high and begin to keep his law statutes and commandments fear the lord that's the beginning of wisdom and then wisdom will show you slowly gradually how to get back to getting your long natural hair and reverse that curse okay so where did i stop 
um, and burning a goo, and it shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow or heart, and you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. Verse 17, and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when no man, when no, when none pursueth you. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more your sins. The Most High ain't playing with us. He's not playing with us. He is is plain and it's simple. The Most High is clearly telling the children of Israel, and I am literally speaking just to the daughters of Zion. I'm standing in my place and in my robe and speaking to the children, to the uh, daughters of Zion only. If we do not repent and hearken back unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, our God, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob, that's our God, and began to keep his commandments, his laws, his statutes, that's the least thing you're going to have to worry about is being baldness or bald-headed or, or ain't, not having no edges or, or scabs in the crown of your head. That's the least of your worries. That is the least of your worries. The Most High is going to destroy you. Destroy you. Unless you repent and, and turn back. So the next script I'm bringing out is Proverbs 1 verse 30 through 31. Okay, Proverbs 1 verse 30. And it reads, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own devices. Wow. Wow. So this the most high. Basically, he's saying they would none of my counsel and despise all my, all my reproof. So basically, the Lord is telling us, we didn't take heed to his counsel. We didn't listen to him. We we went off and we wanted to do our own thing. We thought we knew best. We thought we knew best. So guess what? He said they're going to eat of their own fruit and of their own devices, which is our own fruit is destroying us. Our own fruit is, is wickedness, is poison unto our own flesh, into our own body, because it's not the commandments of the Lord. When it's commandments of the Most High Yahweh, you begin to flourish and prosper and grow and be in health, even as your soul prosper. But when you eat of your own fruit, you are slowly destroying yourself. You are destroying yourself. It's that simple. All right, we're going to hit the curses of the daughters of Zion. And I brought this out in another video. <clears throat> you can go back and read it. It's Isaiah chapter 3. Uh, verse 16 and 17 and this uh briefly goes over um why the most high stripped the daughters of zion why he stripped our hair away from us and it reads moreover the lord saith because the daughters of zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanting eyes so basically, the daughters of Zion are haughty, prideful, can't be told nothing at Jezebel's spirit. Walk with wanting eyes, which is a harlot, a whore, looking to see whoever they can lay down with or whoever they can, whatever family they can try to destroy. That's basically what they're saying. Stretch forth necks and wanting eyes, walking and mincing as they go. Trying to draw attention, trying to seduce men and making a tinkling with their feet proud and seductive that's that that was the daughters of zion this is why the most high smite the daughters of zion verse 17 therefore the lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion he will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion i've seen it far too many times like i said in one of my previous videos scabs at the crown of the daughter of zion head and she don't know what's wrong she's like oh I don't know what's wrong running to Esau for answers, but it's a, <laughs> the wicked is given into the hand of the physician. It's that simple because if you, if you're being righteous and obedient, the most high look, it's going to be health and healness to your bones and to your marrow. I'm going to keep going. 
and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And so that's what's going on with the daughters of Zion right now. Being uncovered, being smite with scab at the crown of their head, being smite with baldness, their secret parts is uncovered. That's why you can see a Eve walk down the street, butthole naked. You might as well say butthole naked because she ain't got nothing on. She's not covering up anything. She's still that seductress whore. She still got um, about three, four, five pounds of weave in her hair. She's still not hearkening unto the voice of the Lord of Yahweh. She's not hearkening unto him. She, she, matter of fact, she, she, in her mind, she's thinking a man better not try to tell me nothing. That Jezebel spirit. This is the daughter of Zion today. Sis, if you're watching and any of these traits fit you, it is time to repent. It's time to repent. It's time to confess your sins to the most high. He is able and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And then once you do that, begin to keep the commandments of the most high. Convert your soul. Convert over all right, the next script uh, was, we're going to just drop down to verse 24. And it shall come to pass, then instead of sweet smell, there shall be a stink. So saying the daughters of Zion is going to have a stink smell on them. Not no sweet smell, a stink smell. Why? Because most High cursed the daughters of Zion, man. That's why. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well-set hair, that beautiful, long, glorious, woolly hair that the Most High blessed us with, what did he say? Baldness. Baldness. We was going to be cursed with baldness. Smite with baldnesses. So wake up. This is to wake you up. This is to wake you up. And I literally, when I was sitting looking at who I used to be, at the time I put my I'm watching and I put myself back where I was and I was so ashamed to have to sit and watch these videos these pictures that I am going to share with you because I feel like it's profitable I feel like it would be very edifying to open up and show you where I come from and to show you who I was and I had no idea that I was cursed that I was in darkness that the most high had cursed me I you couldn't tell me I was cursed. I was saved, you know. I was going to uh, Sunday worship, church, paying my tithes. You couldn't tell me. You could not tell me that I was cursed. And that's the very sad part about it. It's a lot of my sisters today that are cursed and they do not realize they are cursed by the Most High. And that curse is going to remain on you until you repent and confess your sins and convert your spirit over and begin to hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, to keep his law, statutes, and commandments that he commanded. There's no other way around it. There is no other way to the kingdom. You have to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, and that's just what it is. Okay, so the next scripture is uh, Deuteronomy 9 and 24, and I brought this out in a previous video. Deuteronomy 9, 24. Ye have been rebellious against Yahweh the Lord from the day that I knew you. This is the most high telling us we have been rebellious from day one. From day one, from day one. And it's time to return back to the Lord. Period. It's time to return back to Yahweh. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob says, stop playing with your life. Stop playing with your soul. Yeah, I know it's a hair video and through the scriptures, hopefully you get edified, but it's deeper than that. It's not just about your hair. It's about your soul. It's about your salvation. It's about where you're going to go. It's about the second death. Are you going to taste of the second death? Well, you will if you don't repent. That's simple. All right. That was it for the curses. I don't want to be too uh, dark and gothic for you. <laughs> but I can only be real. I can only be real. And I hope that this edified you. So keep watching, sis. Do not cut the video off. Watch the video to the end. Take it. Take reproof. Learn to take reproof. A wise man take reproof, but the foolish man, he don't want to hearken unto reproof. Like, he don't want to hear. So don't be that foolish person and not take reproof when it's being brought out. I'm getting ready to show y'all who I was in the world. 
so keep watching so I am back I am like 95% done with my hair so I just want to show you guys how it looks I kind of got it ponytailed up because there's some little gaps and spaces that I need to fill in still like here and then go back and fill some more hair in here but overall this is 95% done with my sew-in like I told y'all before I showed you a package uh it's not an ombre look but I am really digging this look like I never really thought that I would like um blonde hair but once you start putting a brown in there and blend it it's, it's really starting to look very pretty so. Now you point the finger at your father Cause he never bothers He never took time to know you You never known him Maybe you know him Maybe he was there the whole time in your corner Damn Relationships now these days Sound like a random replay But who gives a damn now these days Will they acknowledge their own iniquity To turn away their captivity But they don't know their captivity I'ma return to my place Until they acknowledge all of their offenses I meditate on that a minute. We are the children. Yeah, we are the children. Look at our condition. Your customer dealers. Try out the real to me. Moses is with us. So now that y'all see, hopefully this can bring y'all a little closer to me and you can see who I was and who I am today. And I'm not ashamed of that. If my life and my testimony has to be put out there to help a sister in their life and what they're going through right now, I, all praise be to the most high. It is what it is. So did y'all see how cursed I was? Did y'all see I was going in on a blonde hair? What? You couldn't tell me nothing. My blonde hair was in my head and a, hey, I thought I was very beautiful and there was nothing that you or anybody else could tell me. That's the curse. I was so cursed, but now let's get to the blessings. So one curse I did not bring out that I should have brought out, which was Deuteronomy um, 1. Or Deuteronomy 28 and 15, I, is, I have to bring that out. I definitely got to bring that out really quick. And it reads, But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, that's that. Now we finna get into the blessings. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Yahweh, to observe and to do all his commandments this day, that the Lord thy God, Yahweh, will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. So let's get into what the blessings of the Lord is. Let's get to it. That should excite you. It excites me. The first script we're going to is Deuteronomy 20, 29 and 29. And it reads. The secret thing belongeth unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. So you hear that? The secret thing belongs to the Lord. But the things that is revealed unto us, it belongs to us. Them secrets that's revealed to us belongs to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. So the only way you tapping into the secrets of the Lord is keeping his law, statutes, and commandments and when he decides to give it to you. That's it. There's no other way around it. Next script, I'm bringing out of Psalms 111 and 10. And all right, Psalms 111 verse 10, and it reads, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom 
a good understanding have all that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you begin to, when you fear the Lord, you have literally tapped into the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom will show you some things. Wisdom is our mother. She's there to lead and to guide us. The Holy Spirit is here also, which is how the Spirit left back here for us to lead and to guide us. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding, a good understanding. So you have no understanding why you're damaging your hair the way that you're doing. You have no understanding why you're putting perms in your hair, why you're putting weave in your hair, why you dyeing your hair blonde, why you're putting blonde hair in your head, why you're doing all these imaginable things you can think of to destroy your glory. You don't even understand why you're doing them. Why? Because you hearken and not into the voice of the Lord. You're not keeping them commandments. So guess what? You're still operating under the curses. you putting poison into your hair and it's eating your hair away and it's breaking it away. That's the curse. Sis, come from a out of the curse. Return to the Most High. Repent. Confess your sins. Keep his law, statutes, and commandments. It's plain and simple. I'm going to read it again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all that do his commandments. All of us that's keeping his commandments, we have good understanding. We have good understanding. We have it. Plain and simple. Because we can see our eyes are open. There's no veil over our eyes anymore. We can hear. Like, we're not deaf of ears anymore. We can see. Like, yeah, okay. His praise endureth forever. The next scripture will be Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. And it reads, be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. That's plain and simple. I don't even need to break that down. You don't be wise in your own eyes. You're not wise. You're not wise in your own eyes. You are wise only through the power of Yahweh and his only begotten son which he has given to you, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that he has given to you. So be wise in the commandments. Don't be wise in your own eyes. That's what it's saying. And then it shall be health to you, health to thy navel and to the marrow of thy bone. And that's wisdom. That's wisdom all day. We're going to get into 1 Corinthians 11 and 15. And this is just the back up that... The daughters of Zion had long hair. The Most High cursed us for being rebellious, for going a whoring, and to worshiping other idols and other gods in the sight of him. So let's find out about our glory. 1 Corinthians 11 and 15. But if a woman have long hair, you hear that? If a woman have long hair, not short hair, not baldness, not scabs, not bald spots, not alopecia, not none of that. But if a woman have long hair, it is it is a glory to her. It's a glory to her. So our beautiful, long, woolly hair. That's our glory. That's our crown. That is a blessing. You know the Most High is dealing with you if you got long, natural, beautiful hair. That's a blessing from the Lord. And only he can give it to you. Just like he was the only one that could take it from you. Yahweh was the only one that could give it to you. And he's the only one that could take it from you. For her hair is giving her for a covering. So, sis... That long, 100% Remy slash, I don't even know, y'all. I've been out the game for a long time with the kind of weaves. <laughs> all praises to the most high. I've been out the game. So, But all I know, that 100% Remy, them weaves, that Koneka line, that all that madness, all them hair weaves, all that elaborate hairstyles that y'all do, sis. Um, yeah. It's because you're cursed. It's, it's literally because you're cursed. And 
The most high, he ain't dealing with you yet until you repent and you confess your sins to him. Repent and confess your sins. Convert your soul over. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord. And he'll begin to slowly give you your glory back. Your glory back. And the sisters that's in this truth that got long, beautiful hair, hey, I'm pretty sure they could testify. They can give a testimony that that is how keeping these commandments got them their long hair. Because that's what I'm saying all day. My hand is up. These commandments has grown my hair. So I got a couple more scriptures and then I got a short video to show y'all how my hair began to grow when I first came into the truth and where my hair is today. Um, so the next script that I'm going to bring out is, I don't even think I brought my, um, I didn't even bring my uh, Apocrypha out here. So we're going to go straight to uh, Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs 1 and 7. I might have to get my daughter to bring my apocrypha so I can bring these scripts out. Jasper. Jasper. Excuse me, so lucky to y'all. I forgot my apocrypha, so I need her to bring it to me. Um, but the next script we're going to is Proverbs 1 and 7. Grab my apocrypha, please. One. Here we go. Proverbs 1 and 7. And it reads, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So fearing the Lord will you begin to get some knowledge. You will begin to stop putting uh, soft fates and all them bad things that's, um, that they're, they're putting in these hair products and they, they try to soup it up and sell you shea butter cocoa butter is in here uh olive oil is in here coconut oil is in here all these good things is in here but they're not um addressing all the bad things that's in here that outweighs the good that as soon as you put that product in your hair um it's gonna eat your hair away it's gonna literally eat your hair away because our hair um needs moisture and if it gets dry if it gets dry, then it breaks off. You got it? It breaks off. So this scripture, that's what the scripture, I, I pulled the scripture for. To show you, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So it's, it's probably some sisters on this video that's not going to hearken to this video. That the curses fit. And basically the Bible is saying that's because they're fools and fools will despise knowledge. So when knowledge is being brought out, if you despise the knowledge that is coming out, hey, you're going to stand under them curses. You're literally going to stand under them curses and it's going to be your own fault because you're doing it to yourself. I got two more scripts. Well, I got three more scripts to bring out. Two of them is an apocrypha. So we're going to Wisdom of Solomon 16 verse... Uh, 12 i believe that's 12. Wisdom of solomon 16 and 12. <clears throat> and it reads for it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored restored them to health but thy word o lord which healeth all things so it wasn't mollifying plaster. It wasn't the herbs that you think you're using that's causing your hair to grow. But it was, it was only thy word, O Lord, which healed all things. The most high, the most high word. Look, being washed in this word, and I don't got that script, but being washed in this word will heal you. It will heal you. It will renew you. It will change you. It will cause your mind to change it will cause the way that you feel about the lord to change how you love him how you serve him how you worship him all of them things 
all this word will cause all those things to happen and it's a beautiful beautiful very beautiful thing very beautiful thing don't let nobody lie to you don't let them lie to you they've been lying to us long enough it's time to wake up Sirach 1 and 16 is the next script <clears throat> and it reads the fear of the Lord is fullness of wisdom and filleth men with her fruits so the fear of the Lord is fullness of wisdom fullness of wisdom fullness of wisdom right and filleth man with her fruits so wisdom gonna start passing her fruits out you're gonna start to see things start to reverse you're gonna see them curses start to reverse you're gonna see them curses start to fall off of you only and only when you begin to follow the most high keeping his law statutes and commandments and that was pretty much it I got one more script, Matthew 7, 16 through 20, which I believe this is very profitable. So I'm going to bring it out real quick. And then we're going to get to my video so you can see um, how far I came from coming into the truth into now how my hair has flourished and how the Most High has blessed me back in my glory. So Matthew 7, verse 16 and 20. Seven. Sixteen through twenty, and it reads, "Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs, or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit." Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down. That's very important, sis. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is hewed down, is chopped down. So don't be under them curses still. When your house shy crack them claws and come back for the remnant of his people, you're going to be destroyed here with your enemy. That's what the scripture is telling you. A truth, a tree that is bearing no fruit there is useless. It's going to be chopped down. And guess what? A, a brand new seed is going to be planted right there. A good seed. And it's going to, it's going to grow up and it's going to bear plentiful fruit, bountiful fruit. Verse 20. Well, let's go back to 19. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. That's plain and simple. Ain't no need to break that down. Ain't no in between. You're going to know a person by their fruits. You can look on a person's life and see if they're keeping these law, statutes, and commandments plain and simple that was my last script stay tuned to see this little clip of my hair growth throughout me starting in this truth and where i am today and then afterwards i'm going to come back i'm going to take my hair wrap off and i'm going to show you my natural hair in its natural state at this current time keep watching <music>
truly are Yeah You're so special sis you got to see it with your own eyes you know this word don't lie these curses and these blessings in the word in deuteronomy 28 1 and 20 uh 28 and 15 is real sis it's real and that's what you literally just witnessed in these very short clips that i revealed to you of my life but now it's just it's profitable and it's edifying for me to take off my hair wrap and to show you my state of hair right now today so stay tuned and keep watching i'm gonna do this very quickly okay and show you my hair just take this Ooh. okay that kind of snagged i felt did i rip my hair out okay so this basically last time i did this this was six months ago back in november and i showed you my hair length and it has grew so much since then this is a go-to natural protective style that i use for my hair and basically this help protects my ends this style is only good in my hair and i'm only speaking in my hair this is only good for a couple days so most likely today or tomorrow i will start to take my hair down and start putting my braids back in to protect it but for the meantime i'm gonna take and all this is is yarn this is not weave sis i would not get on here and do this video and then sit and have weave in my hair no 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 this is yarn there's nothing wrong with wearing yarn in your hair there this is not an idol neither am i worshiping it neither am i sacrificing unto it now if you could pull a script to show your sister to edify your sister that it's not okay to have yarn in our hair and i will be waiting patiently for you to bring that and prove that but until then i'm gonna show you this is what i use my yarn and this is what helps protect my hair and to retain my length and i really tried to do a hairstyle that was really quick and simple <laughs> so i could take it down for y'all but it's definitely profitable to show you so just keep watching please be patient and i hope y'all didn't skip through the video i hope y'all watched the whole video sis because it's very important that you know the curses because if you don't know the curses sis, you could be cursed and you not know that you cursed so listen to the curses and then go to the blessings and then watch the watch my hair like I don't have a problem with sharing sharing my life with y'all because y'all my family and we supposed to be edifying each other and helping each other, you know? So most high done blessed me with some righteous sisters in my life. Something I never even had in the world that I have now. I have uh three righteous sisters the most high done blessed me with. Uh and we help build each other up through the scripts so all praises to the most high if y'all watching shallow on sis <laughs> but uh yeah okay okay so i pretty much got them all down so this is yarn and you literally just pull it like that it'll unravel just like so and then we'll do the back real quick did i do the back it's looking a little like it's not okay there it is if it's, it's very important that you retain your length, 
retain your length because a lot of us believe our hair is not growing but that's not true sis your hair grows it grows all the time it's a matter of retaining the length that you already got and i'm gonna start making more hair hair videos to help my sisters out to show y'all like what's working for me and any tips or pointers that I'm using that's been helping me, I will share them gladly with you. I'm not that selfish sister to try to hide what's benefiting her and only she benefit from it. And I don't share it with y'all. That that ain't me. So I'm gonna brush it out and just let y'all see this this wool. <laughs> Hold on, let's put this back. I'm gonna try to tie that at the top, like so, and get it out the way. So this is a denim a denim brush i think i'm saying it denim denim brush that i use but um one of my secrets i will reveal is i do not detangle my hair um with brushes or comb my finger detangle but it has grown so much if y'all haven't seen my video of a woman's glory Go back and watch that video and y'all will y'all can literally see the growth well you can see the growth anyways but like it don't grow so much more even since then and it's a little um it's a little uh it's not all the way stretched out neither but measuring my front measures like 18 inches and then the back of my hair is measuring 15 inches. My hair has never, well, I shouldn't say never, because I believe in the old times my hair was real long. I just don't remember it. But, like, yeah, all things is being brought back to our remembrance. When we, we come back and we start to keep them commandments, these things will be brought back to our remembrance. So, they need to stop lying, talking about wool is is not beautiful wool is the most beautiful as hair on this earth but that's it i don't want to keep brushing because i don't brush my hair like that but this is it sis this is me that's my glory y'all see that's it it's full of body right now i um blowed it out I washed it, conditioned it, moisturized it, and blowed it out a couple days ago. But that's it. This is me, sis. I hope this helped y'all. If y'all got questions, comments, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go on hit subscribe. Help your sister grow her page. Spread the word. Spread the love. And I love y'all. Shalom.